Right, it's Thursday morning now, and all past eight, and I can't believe I ain't had no. Uh, the fish was out there showing, rolling, head and shoulder in, doing everything carp should. Uh, expected one of the rods to go off. Um, I know there's still time, but I'm not hopeful at all. Uh, Titch has had another. 30 this morning, he reckoned that it was going to go bigger but it hit it, it, the scales at dead on 30 pound. So that's uh, three thirties he's had this trip, so he's still got time to get some more. Uh, the majority of fish are up this end, uh, definitely there's lots of fish over there. Um, I really can't believe I've had nothing uh, um, last night. I expected at least one of the rods to rip off. So if if we get another one uh, later on today, if Titch gets one, I'll reel in and go over and video it. Um, if it's a decent fish, hopefully I'll have something. Um, I could move, but where do I move to? This fish here, I know this fish here. I see him, see him last night, this morning. I was up at half, uh, four o'clock this morning, so I can't, I can't see the point in moving because the fish are here. It's just getting them on the bait. Um, could happen tonight. Put some more in. Um, see what happens. Um, hopefully, if not, and I'll move. Think about de definitely think about moving tomorrow, um, Friday. Uh, I've had a word with the lads uh, who's doing the trees, with it being bank holiday, uh, and they're going. Uh, early Friday afternoon so I'm going to load the boat up and I'm going to get over there uh, at about two-ish and hopefully um, I can get some fish then um, but in the meantime we'll see what happens hopefully we'll have one tonight or later on could it even go now you know it's still early right. Morning, right, it's now Friday, uh, it's bank holiday weekend, so the lake's going to get busy. There's already a few on, uh, I think there's eight or nine on at the minute, so uh, I've not had anything since Tuesday morning. Chichi's had nothing since yesterday morning. Um, it's half past, half past seven quarter to eight at the minute, so Friday, um, so yeah, I'm going to move. Um, the lads who's doing the wood chopping, uh, they, they're going to be going this afternoon, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack up and sit it out and wait, and I'm going to go in the secret. Um, the fish are out here, right on that corner, still showing this morning, crashing. Um, but, uh, yeah, not getting on very well this week, thought I'd have a lot more fish. Um, they did start feeding now they've stopped so just gonna have to wait have a move have a rethink and see what we can do I just wanted to get this on camera uh, so it's a bit shaky because I'm trying to do it with one hand there you go another 30 this time it's 30 oh trying to hold it with one hand and where am I that's it 32, it's a bit too, just under 32 lot, so yet again the lake produces another 30, try and get it accurate, there you go, it's a bit shaky, but that is bang on 32 pound, on the Rubens, happy days, right here we go, right. After sitting in the point for a while and waiting for the lads to move, uh, the woodcutters go, I jumped into the secret, knowing that there was fish over here, been over here all week, and uh, the move was paid off. Here we are. 32 pound, bang on the button. It might be the one that my brother had earlier on. It's got a big urn here this side, I'll show you it. Uh, uh, 
Um, got a lump on its side. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty good. <sighs> Made me weak. So that's a 29, 27, and a 32 I've had this week. So that's got to be right, isn't it? Lovely. I'm going to put him back now. Thank you very much. <coughs> I know this is dangerous, I could lose my iPad here, but I'm just going to video him. The 32 going back. Look at that. Look at that, baby. <laughs> you know better than that. <sighs> yeah, all credit to Ant and his team for the hard work on this. <sighs> Go on, stick your head out. Well then, mate. Off you go. Come on. That's it, he's gone. That's it. Look. 32 pad. You just love it. Before I'll have an hour, I've lost 200 quid's worth of iPad, but look at that. Look at him modelling out. Look. Great to see him go back. And it was a good fight as well. Put up a good fight. Ended up going down and trying to get in the trees to my right. But luckily I waded out and coaxed him out. Yeah, put a good show up for himself. Lovely. Shake the swim. There you go, all set up. Put the rod back in straight away just in case there's any more out there. Right, so we can get some more. Right, I just put the kettle on after putting that 32 out, uh, back in and uh, one of the other rods ripped off. It's not the biggest in the world, it's one of Ant's uh, lovely stockies. Um, so <clears throat> I'll just give you a quick picture of it because you've got to look at this, that these are future fish and this is what you're going to be catching obviously in the future. Um, can you imagine, if I, <laughs> if I pick it up, can you imagine this little baby at 32 pound, like the size of just caught? Can you imagine that? Look at the scales on it, big apple slices. It's a really beautiful fish. And this one's, I think I just weighed it, it's either 15 and a half or 17 and a half. I think it's 15 and a half. You know. Right, this is the last night for me and Titch. It's about six o'clock. We're getting uh, just Titch is just putting the rods in for for the night. Mine are already in. What a week we've had! I've had a great week. Um, topped off with that 32. A few days that I had in the point, and uh, you know, blanked. Uh, it's all forgotten there. Um, I think Titch has had his best week ever since joining the syndicate. Um, if we get any more during the night or early morning, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll video them. Um, yeah, stroll on uh, next time. We've got another week uh, coming up, not for a few months, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll. Wonder if we'll repeat the uh, process. But uh, yeah, the move was worth it. So, all right, from me and Titch. See you later.